Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite tools of all time for growing a YouTube channel called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is an extension that helps you get more views by helping you rank in search and suggested on YouTube. I have an affiliate link in the description below this video so you could completely for free sign up for TubeBuddy, but I will mention some of the paid upgrades through this video, but a lot of it is gonna be things you could get started for completely for free. And what TubeBuddy has helped me do is rank my videos in search on YouTube. So if you look up how to use Instagram, for example, here is my YouTube video number one on YouTube. And it's optimized it so well that if I look up how to use Instagram, even on Google, my video shows up number one here. And this is not just for Instagram, it's for a lot of videos I've made, hundreds of videos. I'm even able to outrank Zoom with my how to use Zoom video right on Google as the top search term. So let me share with you seven very actionable tips that you could follow along with step-by-step step to get the most out of TubeBuddy. So if you don't have TubeBuddy, install it so you could follow along step-by-step. Step. And at the end of the video, I'll show you my personal favorite on the mobile app too. So my link brings you to this page where you could install the TubeBuddy extension. So make sure you do this now and set this up here. And once you do, let me go back to YouTube on that channel and it will appear like this. I like to use Google Chrome here. It's my favorite browser, so that's what I'm using. They do have a mobile app too, though, that I'll cover in an upcoming video. But the extension here looks like this. If you click on it, it's gonna walk you through a lot of the things. But to get started, the best place and my favorite tool here for beginners is this thing called Keyword Explorer. So that's gonna be our very first tip, and I'll go over it with you here. Let's go ahead and click on Keyword Explorer. And the very first thing you'll notice here is Keyword Explorer has a trending tab. So it's gonna show you things that are trending right now on YouTube. And it's great because it looks like Zoom is trending, so maybe I should update my Zoom video here. But you could explore, and if some of these things are related to the type of content you make, you could actually tailor your new video around this. Now, besides trending, you also have this keyword box up here. Now this is really, really important and where a lot of people make a mistake. People type in whatever title they have for their video in the keyword section. Don't do that. I wanted to just type in one or two words related to the content you're about to make. So for example, if I wanna make a Zoom video, I'm not gonna type in how to use Zoom. I'm just gonna type in Zoom here. And I'll go ahead and press explore to see what kind of results we get here. So I just searched for Zoom, and let me kind of walk you through the summary. You get this thing called the overall score. And by default, it's gonna land on this thing called unweighted. This just means it's not taking account anything you've done on YouTube before. And then there is a weighted tab here. So weighted, it's exactly based on your channel and your previous activity on YouTube. So it looks like I haven't made a Zoom video in quite a while, so it's actually gonna be a little bit difficult for me to rank this video. But it's also going to show you the monthly estimated searches for that. You could see Zoom is huge, 29 million here, and the number of videos in the search result, 37 million. And then you have score analysis. This is important, search volume. Now, typically when it's all the way out here, I usually avoid these type of videos because they're really, really difficult to rank for, okay? So I want it somewhere in the lighter green or yellow. I definitely don't want it to be in the red because that means no one's searching this. Then for competition, again, I wanna make sure the competition is not very high here. So you could actually search for that. And then here it's gonna show you how well other videos are optimized for it. And it looks like they're highly optimized. So I gotta do an excellent job here for my titles and SEO and descriptions and so on. So I always look over here and I always look over here under weighted. Now I think the free version just gives you unweighted. So that is one of the reasons of upgraded along with some few other reasons that I'll mention as we go. You also have results. So you could go to the result tab and see how you rank. And it looks like the number one video is actually by me for Zoom already. So I'm already ranking for this, so that's good. But this shows you the results for that. And back in summary here, this is what I want you to do after you kind of analyze what's going on here. What I want you to do is look over here and find another related search that may have a lower search volume than what you're looking at if the competition is too high here. So you look up Zoom meeting, for example, I could always go back to my previous search. They're gonna have a history down here. 
but this is gonna give me different numbers, right? This one is still has a crazy search volume and it also is very well optimized. So still very hard. Zoom meeting recording, let's see if that's any better. And again, that's a little bit better. You could see I have a better search volume. And then I could see more related things. So I would narrow it down. The key for growing a channel, especially where it's young, is finding things that don't have a huge competition, right? You shouldn't try to rank for Zoom the one keyword. It took me four years to rank for that video, making videos every single day, knowing everything I know about YouTube and TubeBuddy. Okay, so what I recommend is narrow it down, find something in the middle ground here in the yellow or the red where you could actually rank for where the search volume is not crazy high. You could also use this to see what's going on on Google too. So it's not just YouTube. I sometimes look at this and try to even rank my videos on Google too, which they rank a good amount. A lot of my traffic comes from Google too. And you could also look at tags, which we'll talk about in a second, but they are available here. Now, once I use the Keyword Explorer to find the perfect keyword here, and I'll take my time on this typically, then I use the second tip that I'm gonna cover here, which is SEO Studio that's built into TubeBuddy. That really helps you kind of craft your title, your description, and get the perfect SEO score for ranking your video. Now, to use that, I'm gonna click on TubeBuddy again, and it's called SEO Studio. Let's jump in here, and I'm gonna go ahead, and my target keyword again is record Zoom meeting that's what my video is going to be and it's going to put a couple of things in here by default but i'm going to go ahead and call this how to record zoom meeting right so i want to make sure my keyword here is identical to the keyword i used to search i just added how to because i only make how to content on this channel and then in description you want to basically include something that's related to your title and it reads correctly and it's not just a bunch of keywords here, okay? So want to record your Zoom meeting. And pay attention over here, the TubeBuddy SEO score, you wanna get this as close to 100 as possible. If it's not anywhere near 100, go through how to improve your score right here and make sure you just do everything this tells you. So far I've done that and everything got a green check mark. So I'm gonna press next, but do type in as much as you can in your description, but don't use keywords, just stuffing keywords in there. And it looks like to get to 100, I need to add some tags. So include partial matches to your keyword, include more relevant tags. So I always use TubeBuddy for all my tags. So I just kind of go based on what it's telling me here and you can see I'm up to a 99%. And I use a dozen or so here, so it's gonna get me closer to the 500 character limit here. So the free version again is a little bit limited. I think you only get like three tags where I get almost all of them here. So I'll add a few more and I got my score to 100. Okay, so now I could press next and go to this last page. Again, looks like this is one of those videos I've made previously, it has a couple hundred thousand views, but since Zoom is trending, maybe I want to make an updated video here. Now this next tip here is on this page is related to your thumbnail and uploading a thumbnail here and comparing it to the other thumbnails. I could go ahead and press upload a thumbnail and I didn't upload this one, this is just my previous video, but let's say this is what I just uploaded. I could see how it's comparing with the other thumbnails on top and below it. Is it competing? Is it anywhere near the same quality as the other thumbnails? If it is, then I could make sure that's the thumbnail I use. If not, I could make sure I improve my thumbnail here. And it's gonna give you some thumbnail tips, bright and high contrast. There is bright, there is high contrast, right? Text is large enough to read, font and color and shapes are consistent with your brand. And then at this point, you could go ahead and save the draft and then retrieve it when you upload your video, right? So it took care of everything for you so you don't have to redo it later. Now, next tip is related to thumbnails, thumbnail generator, okay? Let's go there. And when you go to the thumbnail section on any one of your videos, it says create a thumbnail and you could actually use one of these generators here. So you could use a frame from your video, for example, here to create a thumbnail and press continue and it does have a bunch of options to create a thumbnail. Now, I'm not gonna go through a full dive on this, but I did want to bring this to your attention because it does have some powerful tools over here for creating thumbnails. And while you're here, this is a little bit of a bonus, but when you're uploading your video, there is a best practices guide by TubeBuddy that will appear on the right side and it's gonna tell you a bunch of things, eight different best practices here and I've completed five. Make sure you complete as many as you can when you upload your videos here for the best result. 
Now this next tip, the first time I came across it, kind of blew my mind. You could AB your thumbnails, meaning you could run one thumbnail versus another thumbnail on the same video, live on YouTube, and get real results to see which thumbnail is better. Let me show you over here. This one only works with the Legend plan, which is their highest paid plan. So if you don't have it, don't worry. I'll show you how it works anyway. This is something you may want to upgrade to though, if you think it's useful. But what I could do here, and some of mine are running right now, I could compare a YouTube thumbnail to a newer YouTube thumbnail and see which one performs better. So I've compared lots of videos where my face are in a thumbnail versus when they're not. I've compared some of these with different graphics. Again, my face versus not. And I've tested this out quite a bit. And this is literally changing up your YouTube thumbnail for a couple weeks or whenever it gets the right results and it tells you exactly which one had the better click-through rate, which one had better watch time, and so many analytics here, which I can show you on this video. You could see which one had a better click-through rate, how many people click on this versus the original. I need to either change my expression here and do another A-B test, or just get myself out of the thumbnail here because this one's performing better. And it showed me that my variation here outperformed the original. So if there is ever a reason to upgrade, I think the A-B testing thumbnail feature, because thumbnails are so critical in growing a YouTube channel, is one main reason to upgrade to a paid plan with TubeBuddy. Now I love this option here. There is this thing called Channelytics. Okay, so if you have TubeBuddy installed and you go to someone else's channel or your own, this will show up. Let me actually close it. If it's closed like this, you could click here to expand it. But basically what it does is it shows you your channel, how many views you're getting in the last 30 days versus whatever channel you're standing on right now. So I'm on my app channel, this is my other channel. But right now I could see app of the day, my other channel is getting 217,000 views a month. My main channel is getting 2.7. So I got ways to go to catch up. But I could also see the amount of subscribers I get per channel per month. Again, I could compare the two and I could see how many videos well, App of the Day only has made four videos compared to my 26 on this channel, right? So it makes sense that this channel is 10 times bigger because I'm putting more effort. And you could see those numbers over here too. And I love this option because if you're competing with other channels, it's a good way to make sure you're uploading enough, you're keeping up with their subscriber and view growth, and it really keeps you kind of engaged in trying to grow your channel. This next tip is really critical. There's this thing called best time to publish. Let me go ahead and click on that to show you how this works. And if you click on that, TubeBuddy has this recommendation that says which is the best time to upload and live stream based on exactly your channel's performance. So it's going to tell you weekly and your daily and the best time. It's telling me 9 a.m. every day of the week is the best for me and the best for me on the week is Friday at 9 a.m. So it's perfect if you're uploading once a week to know exactly what day has the best performance and exactly what time has the best performance so you could always try to upload around that same time. And this bonus tip is actually on the TubeBuddy app. So download the app and then sign in with your same account here, same login information. And this is what I love about this app. Not only is it gonna give you all your information right here, but under this milestone tab, if you go to it, it's gonna give you your milestones on YouTube, which I love to share on other social media platforms and on the community tab. And it's very encouraging to try to keep up with these milestones and try to hit the next one. So I'm trying to get to 90 million views here and 375,000 subscribers for my next milestone. But for example, when I hit 80 million views, I could go ahead and click on this here and it gives me this really cool graphic that you may have seen before but you could save it to your photo or share it here on other social media platforms as well and build another community around your YouTube page using these graphics. When I was first starting out and I was trying to hit a thousand subscribers around 4,000 hours of watch time, I would go to this app every single day and try to hit that next milestone. So it's kind of a thing that could encourage you to hit that type of milestone if that kind of thing motivates you, which it does for me. Again, if you wanna try any of this out and you found it useful, I do have a link to TubeBuddy. You could go ahead and install it, try out all these methods, and then go back through this video. I kinda of showed you step-by-step step what you need to do from Keyboard Explorer all the way to getting these cool graphics. I hope you found this useful. I post easy to follow tutorials like this on this channel every single day, and I hope to see you next time.